Uh, the Biden administration is quietly rolling out some new environmental regulations targeting more popular home commercial appliances. This time, refrigerators and freezers, federal officials say, will help curb carbon emissions. Phil Flynn, Fox Business contributor and senior analyst for Price Futures Group, joins me to talk about this. This is pretty interesting because, you know, initially it seemed like they were going after the kitchen. Now it's the whole house. You know, we've got uh, the uh, gas stoves was first. Now we've got clothes washers and refrigerators. Standards for air conditioners came out in March. Proposed rules for dishwashers in May, heaters in July, furnaces in September because, you know, it's starting to get cold. Your thoughts on the rollout of these new regulations? I, th I think you have to beware of the rise of the green energy industrial complex because you're coming after every aspect of your life, Molly. Molly, I, you know, I, I hope everybody can get a big toaster to get one of those big uh, pop tarts because you know they really want to control not only what you can eat, how you can cook it, how you can get it, uh, and, and it's a real danger because when we look at these regulations, they're going to have little impact on the environment, helping things out, making things better but they're going to have a major impact on the way you live you, and, and, and your ability to make money uh, and uh, the economy. Yeah, you know, the Energy Secretary, Jennifer Granholm, argues that this is a testament to the administration's commitment to lowering utility costs for working families. But this Ben Lieberman, a senior fellow at the Competitive Enterprise Institute, said to Fox News Digital, consumers are perfectly capable of making these decisions on their own, including consumers who want to buy extra efficient refrigerators or other models. What these standards do is force that choice on everyone, whether it makes sense for them or not. Is this about choice or should it be? It should be about choice. And, and the government is historically horrible when they try to dictate how things should be made, whether it be refrigerators or, or ice cream makers or cars, it's always a disaster. You know, and when we talk about, you know, forcing people into more efficient, um, you know, refrigerators and furnaces, what that means is going to make the cost of housing that's already through the roof more expensive. People aren't going to be able to afford these things. So they're going to either have less efficiency or they're going to go without. You know, take a look at the electric car situation. They're trying to force everybody to buy electric cars, but they don't think of the long-term impact on the environment. A lot of these electric cars are ending up in, uh, you know, junk heaps uh, with uh, toxic batteries that have no way to be recycled. So I don't think they think these things through, but that's the government. They never do. You know, what does this mean for manufacturers facing, you know, a new regulatory framework? I think what it does, it makes it harder for them to produce goods cheaply. Uh, they're going to make them more efficiently. And, and to be honest with you, they're going to put out a worse product. You know, let manufacturers do what they do best. That's build products, do them more efficiently. They're already on the road to making more efficient products. You know, work with the industry. Don't work against them. But that's what this administration continues to do. We, you know, Kamala Harris, the vice president, of course, got roasted, burned, baked. So many puns we could use here. Uh, when she put out for Christmas, <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, her holiday message once again, Again, in front of what appears to be a gas stove. They did this at Thanksgiving as well. And this coming, of course, in the wake of the attempted regulations to, to uh, cramp down on the gas stoves. You know, is it hypocrisy? Is it kind of a rules for me, not for thee? Or is this just, I mean, trolling at this point? It is absolute hypocrisy. And, and you can look at it. I mean, look at the biggest green energy global movement in the world, uh, the COP28 uh, that was in Dubai. All these world leaders flying in their private jets, you know, to, to, to save the planet. And it definitely is more about controlling the small people, giving the power to the elites, you know, and making it you know, more difficult for you to not only make a living, but to, to just trans transform yourself or keep your house warm. It's just absolute ludicrousness. And it's really about control. It's not about saving the environment. All right. Phil Flynn, thank you so much uh, for joining us on this first day of a new year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, Molly. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.